In our last edition, we talked about setting up a scene, importing the Info for Diffuse plugin, setting the option sequences, the shader, and adding an audio source to it. Now we want to add an animation to our audio source, so that the audio source will synchronously walk with our sequence, making it more immersive where the audio is coming from for our viewers. So let us start by adding the animator and animation tab to our scene. Let us go to Window and find Animation. Add those two to the scene. Let us start by going to our project and add a new file. Right click, create, folder and call it Animations. Now select the audio source and go to our Animations tab and click the Create button. We will create a new anim file into our animations folder. So let us select the animations folder and call it audio follow. Now that we have created the new animation, we can also see that we have created a new animation controller in our folder animations. Let us go back to the animation tab, select the audio source, and first let us set the audio source to our starting position, which is the mouth of our sequence. To synchronize an animation with our 40 view sequence, the easiest way to build the synchronized animation is to make it in tandem with our sequence. Let us go to our Mesh4DS and let us use the preview frame to synchronize it better. Since the audio source doesn't really require a high precision animation to feel more immersive, we're going to use a low precision keyframe preview approach for our animation. So let us go to the preview frame and let us select the next preview frame in our animation. So let's say we're going to frame 130. As you see, our sequence has moved pretty much straight into this direction. We'll also let the audio source follow the sequence into that direction using our animation. So let us go to audio source and let us first select frames instead of seconds in our little options tab, click this record button to record the animation and select frame 130. Now let us put the audio source to the mouth again of our sequence. If you did everything correctly, you can now see that we have two points in our animation timeline. One at frame zero where everything started and one at frame 130 that we have decided in our preview frame and added in here. After following this procedure through till the end, I want to make sure that my audio source is looping the same way that our sequence is. To do that, I will put my audio source to its originating position on the last frame of our sequence. So let me go to the mesh and as you can see our sequence has 1764 frames. In our animation on the 1763rd frame I'll put it to the end of my sequence and on the 1764th frame I'm going to put it back where our sequence has originally started. Now that our animation is complete, let us talk about the animation source tab in our sequence for the synchronization script. To synchronize an animation with our 4D Fuse plugin, we need to assign its animation source and the animation controller to our sequence. The animation source is the audio source that we have created. So let's drag and drop it in here. And the animation controller is the audio source's controller. In this case, it is the controller right here. So let us drag and drop it to here. If we have an animation that has not the same length as our sequence, we have to make sure to assign the correct start and end frame. The sync for the script will then stretch the animation over the start and end frame. For example, this very cool game object has only five frames in its whole animation, going around in a more or less square around the sequence. But our sequence itself has 670 frames. 
Normally, since the animation has only 5 frames, it will also have an insane speed going around in a circle. But since we have assigned a start frame and end frame for our animation, the sequence will stretch the whole animation from the 220th frame of our anime of our from the 220th frame of our sequence to the 480th frame of our sequence. It'll look like this. Much slower than its actual speed with the only five frames. Now that our audio source animation has been synchronized with the sequence, you can of course add multiple animations to be synchronized with the same sequence. For example, let us add a second animation, element 1, and let us add an animated studio camera object into our scene, and synchronize our animated studio camera game object with our sequence by dragging and dropping the animation controller into the element 1 animation controller and the animated studio camera and the animation source of our element 1 will now have two animation synchronized to our sequence. Since we now have an animated camera we won't be needing the main camera anymore so let us disable it from our scene. Now that the camera and the audio source has been animated and synchronized with our sequence, we can look at our intermediate results by pressing play. For the views, designs and sales volumetric capture technologies for more than 10 years now. With the Holosys, professional studios can now film real actions and turn it into a virtual asset for augmented, mixed and virtual reality applications.